This video is not for kids. This may contain cussing, suggestive themes, and or triggering topics. Anything said in this video is alleged and not to be taken seriously. This video nor channel does not promote or encourage illegal activities. Copyright disclaimer under Section 107 of the Copyright Act 1976, along with made for fair use for purposes such as criticism, comments, news reporting, teaching, scholarship, and research. Fair use is as use permitted by copyright statute that might otherwise be infringing nonprofit educational or personal use tips the balance in favor of fair use. And warning again, the following images and or content may be disturbing to some viewers. Viewer discretion is strongly advised. Hello all, welcome to the Truth Show. I was going to put this on Keisha's Gossips and Truths, but I really did not feel like doing my hair or anything of the nature. I'm kind of like bumming it out today. Sorry about that. I have another um, sequel of The Pretty Little Liars coming out anyway, so I got you guys covered. But anyway, in this Truth Seeker requested video that I know other channels are doing, but I am not other channels. I will give you the blanked truth, whether you like it or not. <laughs> Anyway, I will be talking about the latest rumors of one of Jay-Z's alleged love child. Let's talk. Here we go again. I mean, this is the truth show oh, and there's more. Oh, I'm not done yet. Oh, and there's more. Oh, I'm not done yet. I mean, this is the truth show. Oh, yes. It seems that a young lady named Latisha Macer is claiming to be the daughter of Jay-Z. Allegedly, this pretty young lady mother name is Lisa and apparently they had an affair in the 90s and this is who came from that fair there have been rumors here and there pertaining to this she has an Instagram page dedicated to this and she started posting on her Facebook page as well I have to admit she does look like him but truth be told I have a cousin who look just like his mother and they had a child and the boy looked just like jay-z i know for a fact that they're not related though but they definitely look like twins so he he does have that face you know it's just how it is i mean we did get separated a lot you know during slavery so it could be one of those coincidences or he could just have that face a lot of people look like jay-z i mean there's a lot of people who look like beyonce and then there's i was going to say kim kardashian but people get plastic surgery to look like her but I, I'm sure you guys know where I'm coming from anyway but I'm not saying this girl's story is invalid it you know what I'll let you guys decide by the end of this video but before I get in deep because you know I'm getting in deep we need to go back to the first rumor and you all if you don't know about this yet will be surprised and it'll have you thinking twice about any other rumor of these children popping out of the blue who are claiming to be the kids of Jay-Z, or it may not. I mean, your opinion is your opinion. I'm not judging. So with that being said, let's go back. As you know, Latisha, mother, is not the only woman who was allegedly claimed to have had a child by Jay-Z. You all remember the story back in the day. It, it went seriously viral, and it's still related and quoted today. The story of Chanel Scott. Yeah, there was an article back in the day saying that, you know, he had an affair with model Chanel Scott, who is Trinidadian, who still lives in Trinidad. She has been linked to the industry, you know, people such as Benny Boom, Nas, and Jay-Z and more. And she even dated Fizz from B2K at some point. Oh, yes. The vixen has dated around. Mm -hmm. She also has one son that we know of, maybe who was born in LA in 2002. His name was to, to have been Isagel. Oh yes. So with that information, let's go in deeper. Apparently they met on a video set of Big Pimpin and became intimate shortly after around 2000 and 2001. She said the child is Benny Boom, who's a video director and was also linked to video vixen Chanel Scott, you know. A rumor that he may be the child's father, but let's fast forward until now. Okay, Chanel Scott, aka now as Mrs. Chanel Escape, who got married to Kevin Escape and had four children. Oh, yes, the oldest is not a boy, by the way. It's a girl, and she looks nothing like Jay Z. That whole story was reported to be a fake. Oh, and guess how I learned this? It got reported that a gang leader and a criminal mastermind, Selwyn Robocop Alexis, was assassinated at his enterprise, Shagwinus Business. And Alexis 
customer, Kevin Eskeg of San Juan and Eskeg's four-year-old son, Kurtrick Scott, the husband and son of Chanel Scott, were shot several times as a group of gunmen ambushed them at Alexis Car Wash at Freedom Street. According to reports, Alexis Scott and Eskeg were standing in the yard of the car wash when a man came onto the compound talking to Alexis. The man was wearing a black wig and at some point said Alexis realized he knew him and said so. And then two cars stopped near him. The occupants of the cars who reportedly were carrying assault rifles and handguns got out and began shooting in their direction. And the man talking to Alexis also drew a gun and both men got into a tussle. Alexis, Scott, and Escape were shot several times before Alexis managed to draw a gun and shot at his initial attacker before also getting off some shots at his other attackers. The other gunmen have been shot the trail several more times before they returned to their vehicles and drove away, leaving their wounded accomplice. It was also reported that the TNT Guardian was told Alexis had a four-year-old his granddaughter with him, but managed to put her in the vehicle when he realized they were ambushed. Meanwhile, Chanel Eskeg had created a GoFundMe page to help her with her husband's funeral expenses and son medical expenses. Good news is that the killer who shot her husband is dead, but sadly Chanel lost her husband and was also a victim of a terrible rumor for many years. May her husband rest in peace and my prayers go out to her and her family. Oh, and the story of who is the mother of this alleged son, Ramir, and this woman who claimed to have said that this is the offspring, aren't dropping their paternity suit anytime soon against Jay-Z. It seems that this ongoing paternity case was reviewed by the Supreme Court of allegations that fraud and collision that have allowed Jay-Z to avoid taking DNA tests to prove once and for all whether or not he is the biological father of Ramir. Take a look at the video. My name is Wanda Sadri, and I am the mother of Ramir Sadri. Today is April 20, 2016, and I want the world to know I support my son in his paternity suit with Sean Corey Court. I stand on my allegations regarding this man. <clears throat> Mr. Carter, defense attorney in 2012 in New Jersey, didn't want me to sit next to her in the courtroom and stated, I quote, I don't want her sitting next to me. I don't want her sitting next to me. I would not represent someone like her, end quote. And I do feel she owes me an apology because her remarks shows discrimination towards me and was reported to the ethics board chair. But nothing was done. There has been other similar problems after this. Yes, the governor of Pennsylvania is reviewing information of allegations of fraud and philanthropy regarding court orders when parties' names were changed and removed. The words to my son, my man, the battle is not yours. Don't give up. I already know what many of you are going to say pertaining to the clip I just showed you about this woman um, claiming her son is by Jay-Z. I already know, I mean, you guys chirp over me getting someone named incorrect. I can just imagine what you are thinking pertaining to that video. But anyway, I I'm not going to do that. That's not my style. But um, this claim and pertaining to this right mirror um, young man here, who believes he is the son of Jay-Z, and he also claims that Jay-Z has used his wealth and fame to avoid taking a paternity test for nearly a decade. It seems that this Satterthwaite family first requested a paternity test in 2010 when he was 16 years old, allegedly. 
Now, Satterthwaite Guardian has even accused their own attorneys for secretly conspiring with Jay-Z's legal team to avoid the rapper taking the DNA test. However, Ramir was told his mother, Wanda, believed Jay-Z was in fact his father when he was around 8 years old, claiming that she hooked up with the rapper in 1992 at his aunt's apartment in Brooklyn, New York, after he first picked her up from Philadelphia. So he picked her up from Philadelphia, you see. Yeah. She claimed they used protection, but it failed. They got together a couple of weeks later, but never saw one another again. So he picked her up from Philadelphia. You know, I'm not even getting into details about that. Anyway, just going on with the story here. Wanda claimed she had no idea how to get in touch with Jay-Z. Meanwhile, Ramir says he holds no grudge against Jay-Z and still holds out hope that one day he can meet and resolve the situation amicably. I don't know about this case. Something isn't right. I mean, I read and watched plenty women claiming to be the mother of these random dudes' babies. Some with kids who kind of look like the father and turns out not to be. He's not the father. The photo of her claiming to have been taken with Jay-Z was not her. Her um, filing court documents for paternity got thrown out. I mean, if the plaintiff can't submit enough proof of their allegations, it's thrown out. Or if they can't be proven and or submitted as a sizable claim, which is why her case got thrown out. I know you all are expecting me to go along with this because the majority has done it. That's not my style. I refuse to lie. I cannot stand up here and claim that this young man is Jay-Z's son. I've watched, read, and personally witnessed fake paternity cases, and some are a lot worse than this. However, as an observer and investigator, I'm putting that, you know, cap on right now, those glasses on. I have my doubts, and I think these two individuals, well, one of them for sure, are trying to use this story to gain some publicity and make a quick come up. I believe they're also trying to corner Jay-Z to make a comment or show up in court so they can milk the publicity from it. If I was Jay-Z, I won't give them the satisfaction. No comment, no rap lyrics, nothing, nada. I mean, you all know how I feel about Jay-Z, but despite that, I don't believe this one. I'm sorry. I mean, something is fishy about this case and the pretty young lady team case as well i'm not saying that they're behind it though it could be their mother's lying to them i don't know because i looked at the facebook page of t and there's a man she took some pictures with back in 2014 that looked just like her however the picture i saw on a website of what it looks to be her mother posing with jay-z does look like her mother that she has on facebook and on instagram the hairstyle and skin complexion matches Although the same picture was shown as proof for uh, the Ramirez case. So this picture may be edited because the female arm looks different as if they placed her there. I have seen pictures like that. I can create pictures like that. And T never showed this picture as proof of her mother and Jay-Z. So I don't know if it's valid or not. But I know it doesn't look like Ramirez mother it looks like it could be one of the members of JJ fat or rapper Moni that hairstyle was pretty hot back in the day I mean if the pictures real just saying however I only saw one picture of T posing with her alleged mother as a child on Facebook and some on Instagram of her illness if that's her ill it looks like her but I don't know I do send my prayers I hope for full recovery and peace for you um Tea. However, I did read that Jay-Z was in Cambridge somewhere. I couldn't find any proof of that myself. And you know I researched. I didn't see any proof of him ever being in Cambridge ever. He was always a New York dude. So who knows? With that said, I think there are some holes in these stories and not enough proof. This would not gain any more traction than here on YouTube, maybe on a few blog sites. And it may show up on E, maybe, maybe not. Because they have no solid proof and pictures are edited. I had debunked some pictures, as you know, from the QA9. I also um, debunked a picture that one of my truth seekers sent me in the DM claiming that R. Kelly took a picture with a dude. And it turns out someone edited his ex-wife face off of it and put a dude on there claiming that, you know, R. Kelly was gay. <laughs> yeah, I debunked that real quick. But, yeah, I'd like to check out my stories before I go publicizing it. It's not always about the money. It's about revealing the truth. I may get some things wrong and I will definitely be... Um, apologetic about it 
And some I will not be apologetic about it because it don't be an error on my part. It be actually me saying what I have to say. If it's wrong, then it's wrong. But it be me saying what I have to say. But um, anyway, but that's just how I see this whole case. I mean, they just have no solid proof. And Jay-Z's taking a lot of pictures with a lot of people, especially back then. But now I see he's more careful and I guess this is one of the reasons why. I mean, people popping up saying that he did this, he did that. I can see why he's careful of whom he take pictures with. Good luck to the both of them. Um, no disrespect intended. Just giving my honest opinion. Good luck, seriously. Well, that's it. Tell me what you all think below on that note. Don't forget to subscribe, share, and hit that bell so you get notifications for when I do post more videos. Love you all. Bye.